Good morning. On the bench today I've got a customer engine, a repeat customer engine. This is Steve's engine. And this is a Sato 100 engine and I'm just opening this box for the first time now. And I want to do the initial inspection on camera here because this is an interesting one to me because I've never heard of this before. And Steve got this at a very, very reasonable price off of eBay, and all he could say that the person that sold it could tell him about it was, or the only information I have, I guess I can say, is that it's a good running engine, strong compression, but it has a leaky front bearing. And I have never heard of a Sato engine having a leaky front bearing, so I'm very curious as to what, what that really means. So that's what we're going to take a look at here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, I was cautioned by Steve to have either gloves on or paper towels ready because this thing is oily, which maybe you would expect if it's got a leaky front bearing. So let's, uh, let's put this down here real quick and here's the engine. Maybe it's not a leaky front bearing. Maybe the person just dropped it in oil. Okay, so let me just wipe it down here real quick. I'll smell it. I don't smell any. It doesn't have a strange smell to it at all. So my plan with this is to just do a quick initial inspection of it and then take it out and run it because like I said I've never seen I've personally never seen a Sato engine that has a leaky front bearing and the only things that I can think might cause a leaky front bearing would be either it's a completely unshielded bearing or there's some kind of damage internal damage maybe to the bearing seating area or something I don't know but now Steve said it has really good compression and I would say it has acceptable compression. I would not say it has really, really good compression. It has compression, I'll say that, but I'm not saying it's really super good compression. So I think maybe I will do just a quick look inside the rear cover. And then maybe the rocker covers. See any, anything that looks unusual there. Everything looks hunky dory. Dead center. Ugh. I think that valve lash is going to have to be set first. It's pretty open. That valve lash is a little bit too open. So I'm not seeing anything here initially in this inspection. So I'm going to shut this video off and quickly set the valve lash on this engine and go take it out on the stand and we'll see if we can see a, a leaky front bearing on a Sato engine. Okay, so this is just a quick proof of life run of this Sato FA100 engine. I want to check and see if there's any kind of reported leakage from this front bearing. So that's what we're going to do here.
Okay, I've seen enough. Yes, confirmed. There is a leaky front bearing. I have yet to ever see that on a Sato engine, so this should be an interesting one. We'll see if it's just an unshielded, completely open front bearing, or if there, if there's any kind of internal damage in there. We'll have to take a look and see.